Well, hello, 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 anyone who's tuned in this evening. I do believe there's a couple of people here. MH, I have no idea who you are, MH. I know a few people with MH as their uh, initials. I'm not sure which MH you are, but MH, thank you very much for your comment. Jacob Lund Paulson, what piano sample is your go-to on the Nord? Well, my go-to on the Nord would be the, I think it's called the White Grand, uh, but that's not the Nord. That's actually Keyscape that you're listening to right now. Joel Sinner says, love it. Thank you, Joel. It's just for you, my friend. Thank you very much. MH says, awesome. Thank you, MH. Joel Cena, I'm going to go practice now. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be doing any of that. Thank you, MH. Christian. Yes, bro. How are you? If you don't know Christian, Christian is a wonderful guitarist, as is Joel is a wonderful sax player. There you go. We've got so many wonderful musicians on the stream. This is so good. Ah, oh, I love you guys. Midnight Antelopes. I haven't read your comment yet. But I like your name. Says, hello, Mike. Your talents are incredible. Oh, you're on the payroll. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Timothy Matthew Johnson, how are you? Another wonderful keyboard player. Damn, dude, you're an undisputed beast. Oh, God. I don't know about that, mate. I don't know about that, but thanks. John, nice to see you. How are you, man? Uh, good to see you. John's a, a very... Very loyal supporter. Thank you very much, as always, for supporting on uh, Facebook and, and YouTube and Twitch, I do believe now. You're everywhere, man. Thank you so much. Midnight Antelope says, do you have... It's a little bit hectic, that background music, isn't it? Is that, is that too loud? How's the volume? How's the volume? Of the, this, is, this is a bit of a new setup here, this uh, restreaming YouTube, Facebook vibe. So let me know. How's the vocal volume compared to the background music volume? Joel, you're the, uh, you know, got a good ear for such things. Please let me know. Midnight Antelope says, do you have any tips for bass lines that are groovy and unique, but not too busy? Vocals up a bit. All right, minute. Does that mean the background music has to come down or just the vocals have to go up? I can turn the vocals up. How's that, Joel? Is that intimate enough for you? Do you like that? There you go. Oh, thank you, Joel. Wonderful. <laughs> i got to get back to Midnight Antelope saying, do you have any tips for bass lines that are groovy and unique but not too busy? That's, that's a very open-ended question. I think, I think you're going to have to be a little bit more specific. Are you talking about jazz, funk? Are you, are you after an example of a bass line? A particular tune? I'm going to need more information, Midnight Antelopes, but I, I reckon you can provide me with that information. So I think you'll be right. Mr. Funksy. Is this the lick on the soundboard? This is just for you, Mr. Funksy. Ready? Absolutely. But that lick, that's, that's actually reserved. That's reserved. That, I, I'm, I'm just, you know, throwing it around willy-nilly. Which I really shouldn't do. That's that should be reserved for special occasions. So we'll we'll put that away for later. Christian says, background music could come down if you're chatting. Right. Thank you, Christian. How does that grab you? Is that better? Is that a better level? Better balance? Oh, look out! If it isn't, we've got, we've got all the guitarists. It's like every funky guitarist in Melbourne seems to be here tonight. If it isn't Gilly, Norbin Funk Gregory Jr. Oh, hi. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you, Joel. Oh, we've got more messages. Oh, wow. It's all happening here. John says, ha, ha, ha. Good ears on my iPad at this very moment without good headphones. Forgive for a moment. You're forgiven. Don't do it again. Just kidding. It's all good. <laughs> oh, you guys. Midnight Antelope says, thinking about mid-tempo funky bass lines below a bright, well-highlighted vocal... Wow, this is... Hang on a minute. I'm going to need to read this again from the start. Reset the brain. Thinking about mid-tempo funky bass lines below a bright, well-highlighted vocalist 
that really move but don't take away from the soloist. Man, there's a lot going on in that. Um, thinking about mid-tempo funky bass lines below a bright, well-highlighted vocalist that really move but don't take away from the soloist. That that that's poetry. That that's what that is. Um, yeah, my advice would be keep it simple. Don't be playing too much rhythmically and you know i know i can talk but i'm talking if you're talking about bass lines with all of that i'd say just just keep it chill just lay down the pocket keep it simple let every let, let everything else shine john says but believe me that your mastership travels over pretty strong anyway oh thank you very much man the entertainer in a minor key perhaps ah oh. gilly i thought you'd never ask You've got to end it with the uh, the tears to Piggity, the major chord at the end. That's just for you. That's just for you, Gilly. I know you like the entertainer in a minor key. You're a little bit warped like that, but that's why I love you. No worries, Midnight Antelopes. You're more than welcome, Gilly. Stevie Taylor, here he is, the one and only. How are you? Good to see you. Melancholy Joplin. That's a good name. That's a good name for an uh, for a, for an artist. Maybe maybe that could be my artist name, Mike Pensini, also known as Melancholy Joplin. I like it. Dave Dehorn, how are you? Good to see you. How are how's things in lockdown in Sydney? I do believe you're in uh, you're in COVID jail right now. How's that all going for you? Robert and Paul weeping now. Indeed, Magnus. John Hamers. Hi, I've played that track on my accordion in my childhood. Hopefully not in a minor key. Because that would just sound very morbid. Uh, Gilly, perfect end to a Thursday night. End? Hang on a minute. It's only 8.18. Where are you, man? I, if you're in Melbourne, what what have you been doing to end your Thursday night at 8.18? That's what I want to know. That's good, Stevie. Dave always says, always great to see you online, Mike. Thank you, Dave. You're in Queensland now? What? Hang on. Have you have you moved to Queensland or are you just holidaying and got stuck? That's my home. That's my home state, bro. Are you were teaching today? I see. I see, Gilly. It makes sense. I hope you have got a, uh, a beverage wherever you are. How's the album coming along, brother? John says, haha, indeed, children play more major, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, I think that'd be a bit depressing for the kids playing it in a minor key. Dave says, moved and got me a new... Well, well, that's... Um... There you go. Whereabouts are you in Queensland? By the way, if you have any requests, please just write them on the back of a hunt. No, it doesn't work in this online environment. Hang on a minute. Um, yeah, if you got any requests, no, before you ask, the, the keyboards don't fit there. So just, you know, no. <laughs> right. Let me know if you've got any, uh, if you've got any requests that are along, you know, the jazz realm, maybe the funky realm. I don't know. Can we get funky yet? 
Sunny North Brisbane. Oh, mate, I, I lived in Brizzy for three years. It's a beautiful part of the world. Fantastic. Joel says, Phoebe says hi. Tell Phoebe to get her own account. Come on, what's this? What's this passing messages? Come on, this isn't high school, Joel. <laughs> Cotties. Oh, man. My dad picks the fruit that makes the cotties. Cordial that I love best. Please play Autumn Leaves. Um, hang on a minute. Either either we live in an alternate universe or um, there's a bit of satellite delay going on here. Come on, Phoebe, get with it. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Phoebe. Thank you. Thank you for calling me by my full name. I now feel like I'm in trouble. Thank you. Right. But anyway, that aside, if you do have any requests, just pop them in the chat. Go on. I've got some big fancy setup on Twitch where, you know, you can request things from a list and all that. But, you know, we're not worrying about that because this isn't Twitch. This is YouTube and Facebook. Because Twitch is strange at times. Did I for real... Are you, are you, t are you, come on. Are you messing with me, Phoebe? Yes. I do believe I did. Magnus says something funky, please. Oh, look out. Nardus. Damn. Come on, man. You, you got to come over and, and jump in for a stream, Joel. If you don't know Joel Cena, he's a wonderful alto sax player. So, uh, and Phoebe, Papa Theodoro. Got to say the full name. Pa Phoebe Papa Theodoro is a, a wonderful vocalist. So, I do believe both of them will be joining me on one of these streams going forward. You are, aren't you? You said you were. So, you know, I'm holding you to that. Phoebe says, I literally just tuned in and Joel told me you just finished playing. Yeah, I've only played one song tonight and it happened to be Autumn Leaves. So, um, sorry, can't make it. Already played it. Joel's down. Of course Joel's down. Tell you a bedtime story. All right, well... Either you want some Herbie Hancock or you would literally like me to tell you a bedtime story. Have you got any favourites? You know, it's a bit, I'm a bit rusty on the old stories. No worries, buddy. You know what, Gilly? I don't believe I've ever played Tell Me a Bedtime Story by Herbie. Maybe I should... Should I, should I pull up a chart for it? How, you know, how, how, how bad could I play it? <laughs> you know what I do want to play is Dolphin Dance. Um, not that I know it, but it's this is this is something that I was I was actually talking to my to a, to the Twitch stream about the other day, and that's like there's two songs in this world, right? So I've got this. Um, John says, "Do I like David Bowie?" Yeah, David Bowie's amazing, very cool. So no worries, Gilly. So this is thing, right? I don't, I don't know. Like, we've got a few musos. This is cool because we've got some, like, you know, heavy musos in the audience here. And um, I could be strange. Oh, oh, look, I know I'm strange. That's, you know, that's undisputed. But um, this particular thing is I've got this thing where if there's a song that I really, 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 really like, I don't want to learn how to play it because, you know, as musicians... We, we analyze everything. We know how to play everything, right? So if there's a song that you really like, it's really hard to enjoy it just as a punter because you know how it's all put together. You know the chords, you know the structure, you know everything. And so there's two songs in this world that I really love that I was like, no, I'm, I'm, they're my, like my favorite song of all time. My absolute favorite song of all time is uh, Lately by Stevie Wonder. So I refuse to learn how to play it. And I've been on gigs where people have, you know, well, not been on gigs, but people have said, oh, should we do like, no. I refuse to learn how to play that song because I, I never want to know. Christian says, I'm the same man, leave the mystery alone. That's awesome. Christian, tell me what songs you're, you know, I like that for you. But for me, it's Lately by Stevie Wonder. So that's my favorite song. And I, I don't want to know it. I don't want to. I don't want to know what key it's in. I don't want to know what the progression is. I just. I. I want to know as little about that song as possible because every time I listen to it, it's like the one song I can listen to 
as a non-musician and and really just enjoy it for what it is i don't i don't want to know how to play it because that will that it's like you know it's like being able to to if david copperfield says oh yeah man come backstage and i'll show you how i do all the tricks then you know the concert the the the, the next time you see his performance it's not going to be as exciting is it because you'll know how everything's done it's just like you know watching him go through the motions so it's i think it's you know there's a couple of things that are really important anyway this is a very long intro to basically saying the other song was um herbie's dolphin dance i just love that tune right so i was like no i'm never going to learn how to play that song because i just love it too much and that's i just love listening to it i don't want to know all the intricacies of it <laughs> gilly says christian will never play smooth if i sent out every time i ask him on gigs yeah man i don't think that's because of the reason you think it is but that's cool look that's a great song i'm gonna say that that takes me back Anyway, Dolphin Dance is the Herbie, Herbie tune. But I think I've, I've broken that. I've played it like once on a stream on Twitch. Like I had to read it because I've never, on, I've honestly, I've never played it because it's like Lately by Stevie. I just don't want to know how it goes because it's too good. So anyway, that's a very roundabout way of saying I'm going to play Dolphin Dance because you wanted some Herbie. And, but I'm going to have to read it. I'm going to have to get a chart for it because I don't actually learn how to, I didn't learn how to play it because I like it too much. Um, Christian says, a couple of tunes off Heavy Weather, a couple of Jay Buckley tunes, a couple of Earth, Wind and Fire. Maybe I love those tunes and I'm just lazy. Could be. You know, we are, we, we're musicians. We're meant to be lazy, man. That's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Porpoise Waltz, is it? P porpoise Waltz? Like porpoises in Dolphin? Porpoise Walls, is that is that your version of Dolphin Dance, man? Very cool. Alright. Alright, I'm going to do Dolphin Dance. I'm going to do it. I'm going to attempt it. I'm not responsible. Firstly, I'm going to get a refill of wine, and then I will come back, and I will play Dolphin Dance. So please hold. Your call is important to us. I'll be back in 40 seconds.
And that was Dolphin Dance. Of sorts. <laughs> I am indeed squishing the grapes. But that was worth it. Totally. Magnus says, suggestions, anything by Chick Corea, Spurrier, uh, Weather Report, or Quincy Jones. Yeah, I can do that. But we have to remember that uh, James has serious doubts about his bath salts. His last gram of bath salts. What a username. That is still the most epic username. Yeah, that, that gets a round of applause. <laughs> Definitely. James, thank you for tuning in. I hope you uh, found more bath salts. John says, uh, we need you to be free. I don't go for a quest anymore. Love when you just kick off with your gift. Oh, thank you very much, John. Michael! How are you? Good to see you, Mr. Mr. Michael Ben. Michael Ben. Phoebe says, that double bass, though. Dot, dot, dot. It's very mysterious, Phoebe. Though what? Necroantic says, Is that upright bass a patch in the keyboard? Or is he using it as MIDI? Because, oh my god. Uh, that patch is from Spectrosonic's Trillion. Not sponsored by them, but, you know. Could do a little. Spectrosonic's Trillion. For all your upright bass needs, call 1-800... No, yeah. You get the idea. It's very good. Uh, James has serious doubts about his last gram of bath salt. Says, I would also like to know. Well, now you do. Damien. Hell yeah, Mike. Get, oh, no, sorry. Damon. Damon. I've misread that. Damon Brunson. How are you? Thank you very much. Frank. Says, Trillion, maybe. Oh. <laughs> the ears on this guy. Yeah, Frank. Nailed it in one. Absolutely. Trillion, indeed. You and how are you? Thank you very much. Christian, oh, thank you. Very kind of you, my friends. Thanks, Gilly. How do I pronounce that? Is it a Nell ne 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 Isle? Ne Nelly? Nelly L? Nell? Ne You're going to have to tell me how to pronounce your name. Sorry. N E L Y L. Nelly L? Nelly L? Nell Isle. Thank you very much. James. <laughs> Frank was right, indeed. All right. Any more requests? Let me know. Oh, no, we had requests for it. Was it Chick Corea? All right. Chick Corea it is. Here. Here do we go. Let's switch over. Let's, let's have a little bit of a patch change. Here we go. Here's some Chick Corea. You should know this one, Joel, if you're still online.
And that was, of course, 500 Miles High by Chick Corea. The late, great Chick Corea. Absolute legend. Indeed, Phoebe, 500 Miles. Lee says, I'd love to hear the Sub 37 a bit. Probably the wrong stream for the Sub 37, but, um, you know, it's just up there looking pretty with its lights flashing for the jazz stream tonight. But, uh, oh, thank you, Necroantics. Kafka Spenz says, is the road sound from Keyscape? No, that road sound is from, um, that's Scarby EP88S, to be precise. Yeah, that's not the Nord, that one. Thank you, Frank. Very kind of you. Jeff! A.K.A. Jerfo. Good evening. How are you? Or good morning. In your part of the world, I do believe. Good to see you, mate. This song is 500 miles high, Necroantics. John says, uh, well, you're free inside any track. Rule, so much knowledge that will stay even that light, mind-blowing, when the dude kicks off certain talent. Thank you, John. Appreciate that. Thanks, Gilly. Good to see you, man. When are we going to play again, man? I do know when we're going to play again. We're going to play at Kylie Alder's album launch. That's when we're going to play again. Hopefully, if we don't get locked down again. <laughs> Thank you, Phoebe Papa Theodoro. V good. V good. Thank you very thank you. Thank you V much. Thank you, James. I'd I'd be concerned about your last gram of bath salts as well. G'day, Jeff. <laughs> Rumco says, have you done keys for any house records lately? Any house records? Um, one. One. That I don't think I can, I don't think I'm allowed to name. I'm just, I'm just a no-name keys player, man. On that one. But yeah, if that's, if house, if you mean house like EDM house, like, you know, tss, tss, kind of house. Yeah, one. If by house you mean something else, then I'm not sure you'll have to explain that. Thanks, Gilly. Yeah, man. Yeah, looking forward to playing with you, Gilly. Super funky guitarist. There you go, Gilly. Have you got any, um, you know, are, are you promoting anything at the moment? How's the album going? Are you promoting promoting anything? Pop it in the chat if you are. Let all these lovely people hear your wonderful music. Actually, speaking of speaking of, you know, we've got a, quite a few musicians in this chat. So, you know, if we've got any 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 musicians that are tuned in, if you'd like to promote anything at all, if you'd like to promote your your latest album, I believe <coughs> Joel Cena might have something uh, that he's released recently. Uh, you know, if you want to pop a link in the chat, I'll I'll, I'll repost that onto um, YouTube and Facebook. Jeff says, it's nearly 7 a.m. here. Great way to wake up. Man, this is a hectic way to wake up. I'm terribly sorry. My apologies. If you've got a request, Mr. McClelland, please let me know. Rumco says, yes, like Soulful Funk House, etc. I follow you by looking up credits and some favorite house tracks. Really? Man, I wasn't aware I was credited on those. I thought I was just, you know, I thought I was just, just quietly in the background. Can't get away with anything on the internet these days. Damn. Phoebe says, this is actually so fun. Now play something written by you. <laughs> All right. I damn well will. Phoebe, if you'd like to um, promote any of your tracks or anything, please feel free. Post in the chat. I'll repost. Gilly says, end of year. You're too kind. I'm assuming end of year, you mean your your album will be ready by the end of year. Not your album is called end of year. If your album is called end of year, I'm sorry. The Definitive Collection. Gilly Norman Funk Ju Gregory Jr. The Definitive Collection. Joel says release date coming soon. Oh, right. It hasn't been released yet. Oh, wow. I thought it had been released. I'm very confused right now. 
Jeff says, have you done all the things you are yet? If not, that's my request. I'll tell you what. I did on a, on a previous Twitch stream earlier, possibly. But you know what? I'll play it just for you because you're a legend. If you don't know Jeff, Jeff McClellan, I hope I can say this, is also known as uh, the great Jerfo, the music addict on Twitch. So, um, you know, if you wish to follow him, feel free. I'm sure he won't object. He's a, he's a wonderful guitarist and uh, has quite the collection of quite the collection of pedals and keyboards kind of puts mine to shame in a way in a bit of a you know in a way so jeff all the things you are all right mate i'll do that for you james has his uh i'm not going to say your full name because that's just getting ridiculous now uh says do do i still do lessons yes i still do lessons absolutely especially since we're in lockdown right now I have the the entire lesson set up, so you know we've got the we've got surround surround angles, so you know you can you can. There you go. If you'd like lessons, go to my website at www.mikepensini.com. Actually, what we're doing shoutouts, I should say, um, or promos, I should say, if uh, if any of you are familiar with Discord, I don't know, I, I've started a Discord, so if you're interested in any of this like online vibey lessons slash streams slash talking about gear and music and stuff go and join my discord there's it's free there's a there's a link here i'll put the put the link so i think it's uh this should get you if we do this mikepensini.com slash links hopefully that works for you if you go and click on the discord invite and install discord on your phone or your, your computer or whatever it's like a like a like a little forum thing and you can follow individual people and that's my discord so that has when i'm going live and you know i post we all post cool things there. it's a cool community there's a really great bunch of people jerfo's on there jerfo the music addict hence jeff mcclelland um you know we post great music to check out and and tips tricks music stuff keys stuff synth stuff guitar stuff it's just a bit of a hang so, and also, you know, live, when I'm going live, I put that up there as well. So, if you'd like to go and follow, go and follow away. That's, uh, the link is in there. All right, I'll catch up on this chat, then I believe we've got some requests. Uh, Gilly says, I wrote like someone in love, didn't I? No, I wish I wrote like someone in love. I probably have a lot more money than I do now. Jeff says, I've been using the Real Roads and Arp Odyssey together in recent streams. Mate, I'm sorry I haven't been on Twitch enough lately. I, I'm really sorry I missed that. So you mean your, your Roads is no longer just a, um, a guitar pedal holder? It's actually, you're actually playing it now. That's fantastic. That's super exciting. I will must tune in. Phoebe says, you know, before we had ever met, Joel told me to get keys lessons with him. Keys lessons with me? There you go. Well, there's nothing stopping you. You can still get keys lessons if you, if you really want them. Um, wonderful. John says, okay, Discord to mention me that. Uh, it's no longer a pedal shop. Fantastic, Jeff. I'm very happy to hear that, mate. Quiet Times by Kenny Barron. Mate, I don't think I know that tune. If there's a, if there's a chart in the real book, or anywhere, I will be more than happy to uh, give it a crack, but I don't actually believe I know that. I love Kenny Barron, but I'm not sure I know that tune. Dangerous says, Hey Mike, I'd love you to release or sell a Summit Patch Bank at some time. Any possibility of happening? Yeah, I suppose so. If um, if you're interested in like, you know, I mean, because the kind of patches I create for the Summit would be the kind of, uh, more like, the, you know, the vintage funk kind of patches. So if you're interested in vintage funk kind of patches, sure, I may well put one together. If you're interested in all the other amazing wavetable stuff the Summit can do, there's probably a lot better programmers out there for that kind of thing. I'm, uh, I'm more of a, a funk kind of guy. Rumco says, do you think there is a way for artists to make money without intellectual property? Uh, can you elaborate on that a little bit? I'll tell you what. I'm going to play All the Things You Are for Jerfo. While I'm doing that, Rumco, you can elaborate on what you mean exactly. 
I need a bit more detail to help you answer that question. So this one is for Jerfo. This is all the things you are. That was almost all the things you are. That was all the things you are with one note of Rhodes. Now we're going to have all the things you are with piano.
And that was all the things you aren't. <laughs> Romko says, uh, Hey, Jeff. Thank you very much for the super sticker. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you very much. Romko says, Because of the digital world we live in, getting paid for copies gets harder because of ease of copying. Is the near future quite different for artists as they can't rely on copyright or royalties? Um... Yeah, it's um, it's getting increasingly tougher, man. Absolutely. I mean, there's 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 a lot of talk of reform on Spotify and all this kind of stuff, you know, for streaming services and and all that kind of thing. I don't know. It's quite um. <laughs> well, there it is. It's just come up now. Super chat, Jeff McClellan. Thank you very much, Jeff. Um. Yeah, you know, there's a, there's a lot of talk about you know there's a lot of companies trying to trying to get reform on. Um, the amount of people are getting paid on, on streaming services. So, I mean, it would be great if that happened. It really needs to happen. Um, but, yeah, apart from that, I mean, I don't think ease of copying, I don't think copying is such an issue anymore. I mean, you know, it's not like the days of, uh, what was it? Bloody, what was the name of that? I can't remember now. All those things like Lime, excuse me, like LimeWire and all that peer-to-peer -peer sharing and stuff you know that's not really an issue now because now it's kind of you know all the musicians now are kind of legally getting ripped off in a way because uh you know i mean we're all on we're all on spotify or apple music and stuff like that you know or many of us and uh you know that's fully legal so that's kind of you know the, the ease of people just paying a, a subscription for music has kind of killed the copywriting the pirating of music but by the same token, I don't know if musicians are really getting that much more of a better deal for the majority of musicians. There are some people out there that are doing well from it, but I mean, you know, hey, we've got a bunch of great musicians in this in this stream. What are your opinions? Phoebe, Joel, Christian? I mean, how are you finding it? Are your royalties from Spotify and Apple Music and, and all the legal streaming services paying your bills? Is that, you know, is that uh, really making up for... Uh, the lack of pirating. Stopped in motion says, Hi Mike, I really like this music. Thank you very much. Uh, what drum machine is that above the stage? Appreciate your music. Uh, that is a, uh, it's a mach uh, Native Instruments Machine Micro, I do believe. It is a Machine Micro Mark III, to be precise. James says, most of my pay comes from live gigs. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. It's certainly not going to come from streaming, I don't believe. Yeah. Uh, the drum machine, yeah, Machine Micro, um, which I use quite extensively in my um, Broken Beat jams, which are a different string to what I'm doing tonight, which is just chilled jazz piano and keys jams but uh yeah if you come back for a, for another one of the streams which is uh more broken beat sort of funky vibes who knows this might deteriorate into that you know before the night is through anything is possible <laughs> all right guys if you've got any more requests chuck them in the chat hey no how are you man i just saw that how, how are you surviving lockdown brother How's, uh, how's Sydney treating you? Ido Santoni's a wonderful jazz vocalist and also has an alter ego called Frank who is quite hilarious. So I hope Frank makes an appearance before the night is through. Franco, como esta? Pazano. <laughs> Alright guys, any more requests? Let me know or I'm just gonna keep playing.
I do believe um, Phoebe asked for an original tune. So um, here's an original tune. This one's called The Great Wave.
us a couple of originals. First one was entitled The Great Wave, into uh, second one's Continuum. Oh, thanks, Jeff. Kato Music says, Serene, thank you very much. James Holmes, how are you? Impulse Music, releasing. Oh, Gilly, thanks very much, brother. <laughs> Jeff says, hydrate. Pretend it's coconut water. <laughs> G'day, Ross. How are you, man? Ross is a lovely keyboard player from Brisbane. Good to see you tuning in, man. How are you? How are things up in Brisbane? You guys are pretty much uh, all back to normal up there, aren't you? Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you for tuning in. James, thank you very much for the claps. Thank you, brother. Well, thank you all for tuning in tonight. Plank I might call it a night there. But thank you all very much for uh, gracing me with your presence, your comments. I might play one more tune to see us out. If you'd like to uh, make sure you catch all the streams, be sure to uh, join the Discord. It's free at... I'll put the link in the chat right now. No worries, Gilly. Hope you're well, brother. Look forward to catching up, playing some music with you, man. For those of you who don't know, Gilly's a fantastic, funky guitarist from Melbourne, Australia. Where I'm streaming from tonight. So if you join the Discord there, if you, if you go to that link, there'll be a link to YouTube, a link to my Twitch page, where I do stream quite often. And also a link to the Discord invite. So if you click on that, Join that. It's a great community to hang out with. It's like a really hip chat forum. And you can uh, see when I'm going live and all sorts of stuff. Thanks very much, Jeff. Thanks for tuning in, brother. Another great guitarist. Here you go. You guys would get along well, I reckon. Gillian and Jerfo, a aka Jeff McClelland. You guys should definitely connect. You'd have a lot to talk, talk about. Both wonderful guitarists. With a penchant for uh, for vintage keys, I do believe both of you have quite the vintage keys collection. So, uh, what's with this? What's with this? Gets these these great guitarists have also having you know amazing vintage keys collections. What's going on there? I don't have an amazing vintage guitar collection. You know, that's all it's, I feel this is a little bit one sided, guys. Come on. All right. Any requests for the last tune? Thank you, Frank. Thanks for tuning in, brother. Any requests for the last song? Let me know. Just the two of us. All right. Why not? Let's do just the two of us to finish. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. It's just the two of us for James Holmes.
Well, thank you everyone for tuning in this evening. That was a fun little stream. So, I shall see you all next time. If you haven't followed on the Discord, make sure you do. The link's above, mikepensini.com slash links. Join the Discord. I'll see you for the next stream. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll just catch up on these uh, these chats just before I leave. Impulse says, hello from the British Virgin Islands. <laughs> Jeff says, you better get to work on that. Uh, best get to work on that vintage guitar collection. I know, indeed, I need to do that. Uh, all of me overjoyed. Yes, I'll play all of those tunes next stream. Clancy says, good morning, Mike and all. It's a nice way to wake up. Oh, lovely, to, lovely of you to join us, Clancy. I'm just signing off, mate. But thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Carlo! Good to see you, brother. Yeah, man, let's get the band back together indeed. That would be great. Carlo Barbaro, fantastic tennis player. Oh, everything sax player. Uh, make sure you go and check him out. Awesome. Great to see you, Gilly. Thanks again for tuning in, brother. All right, guys. Thanks again. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.